Okay, so we're going to look today how we can separate the audio from the video in HitFilm Express. So if we go ahead and import like normal, if you've not seen our other HitFilm tutorials and this is bamboozling you, make sure you check out our other HitFilm videos. So here we're just going to take something that we've created and yes, we're going to match it to the editor sequence. We're going to slow it right down so that we can really see it on the... Um, timeline there to make it a lot easier so if I press play on this now this is the original video it's just a quick green screen effect and if we go on to the viewer now we can see the effect of slowing that right down so the original video would be over now so it is going really slow and what we can do here is the first thing that we need to do is import our actual audio so if we just import again another file as we can see it's got an audio track now this could be you recording something as a voiceover but you could use just a sound recorder piece of software but you probably want to, don't want to keep adding on pieces of software that when you've already got plenty that you're using so just use your normal recorder that you're using for a video whatever you're using obs studio or whatever and then we can discard the video that we've got here and just use the audio so if we imagine this could be a slideshow or something you've created the original video um which has the visuals you want and this it could be an example of your voiceover and what you can actually do is rather than just drag that in because if we drag that in at the moment all we're going to do is create a monster if we look at that we've got one on top of another we don't actually want that to happen so let's remove that and let's remove video 2 because we don't want that track and you can see here there's a little padlock sign on both these this means the video and the audio are linked together what we can do is right click on there and go up to this unlink button that makes these two things independent of each other. Now this video doesn't have any audio, but it still has an audio track. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to remove the audio track. So you right click and click remove. And because they're unlinked now, it will actually leave the video in place. If you do try to do that while they are linked, then what you will find is it removes them both at once which is a common mistake so if we go back to import media and we put this straight back in at the beginning slow it right down again not to naught percent though we want it to actually move and um, the links back right click remove it gets rid of everything obviously we don't want that to happen so if we go back on here and we drag it back on and we slow it back down again and going through this a few times actually really helps us get used to the process that we need to follow so there we go we've got that back we're going to unlink don't forget we're going to then right click on the audio remove the audio just the audio make sure you click on the audio because both will be selected still after you unlink it so click once on there remove We've got just the video remaining there. Now remember to switch over to the viewer to preview it. Just the video there. Now this time what we want to do is we want to import our audio. But if we hover over the preview here and click on it, we can click use audio, which will separate the audio from the video for us, which is exactly what we want. Now, what most people do here now is do a drag and a drop now as you can see on the timeline we've got a bit of an issue here if we go back to the viewer and we go back to the beginning we've left a big blank gap which we can tighten up there we've actually got the video on there as well and we've got We've chopped uh, our well, actual video to with our slideshow or whatever in half. It's playing this now. video, it's not even full screen, and then it's going to go on to our silent, audio-less 
screen there part way through so what we need to do here again is click on these we can see they're both linked due to the paper clip and that they're both pink when we click on them and right click and unlink those as well so that's separated those two things now the thing that we want to remove is we want to remove the video so if we left click on that once and then right click remove you can see now we've got the audio from the video and our actual video that we want and we can play about with this we can line them up obviously we've not done a great job of that there but if i take the video back to the beginning now if we press play if that's your audio track and this is your video track here then if we press play now you can see we have only been left with the video uh, audio from the tv clip and we have our own visuals there so these visuals could be a slideshow the audio can be your narration but doing it this way is a lot easier than trying to get another piece of software it's another piece of software to learn for your sound editing just use exactly what you're using for youtube and for your videos and simply separate the audio apart and hit film express it is really easy once you get the hang of it and have a practice a few times so i hope that helps don't forget to check out our other hit film express tutorials and we'll see you back here soon